In this video, I'm going to go through an example of cubing a binomial. So let's remember what a binomial is. A binomial is uh, a polynomial that has two terms. And cubing means taking something to the third power. So I'm just going to do a pretty simple binomial. Let's say we have something like uh, x minus 4 to the third power. So what you want to be careful of, the biggest mistake people make here is they do this. So I'm going to say not equal to. This is what they do. They do x to the third minus 4 to the third. Sort of like distributing this 3 and taking each thing in the parentheses to the third power. Um, that is not what you need to do. The reason is, is because x minus 4 to the third power means x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. That's what to the third power means. It means, oops, I wrote 3. It means taking something and timesing it by itself three times. Now, if you remember, when you take x minus 4 times x minus 4, you have to FOIL x times x and x times negative 4, and we'll go through all, all through that. Um, and so that, that's how you have to do these, x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x minus 4. Just before I leave this stuff in red here, um, a situation where you would take everything in the parentheses to the third power, let's do that in blue. If you had a problem like 4x to the third power. There's no plus or minus in there. This is not a binomial. It's a monomial. In this case, you would take 4 to the third power and x to the third power, and you'd get 64x to the third. So the difference with this kind of problem right here is it's a monomial uh, to the third power. If you have a binomial, you have to write it out and do the whole FOIL business. Okay, I think that's all I have to say about all that. So let's get rid of this stuff that we... Um, don't want to do this way. And let's go ahead and multiply out these three things that we've got. So these three binomials. Now, when you have three numbers that you're multiplying together, you can multiply them in any order you want. you got to pick two of them and multiply them together. So really, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to focus on x minus 4 times x minus 4, and we're going to do that. All right, so we're going to use the FOIL method, which is first, outside, inside, last, uh, or some of you just do distributing, but probably you know how to do this part. If you're doing x minus 4 to the third, you've probably already done uh, x minus 4 times x minus 4. So first thing you do is x times x, and that gives you x squared, and then x times 4, or a negative 4, you could think of it, so that's negative 4x. And then, so we did x times everything in the, in the <clears throat> second binomial, and now we're going to take negative 4 times everything. So negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So if we simplify that, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16. So remember, that was just the answer to the first two binomials, x minus 4 times x minus 4. We still have to bring down this other x minus 4. We just multiplied two of them together, but now we have to take our answer, x squared minus 8x plus 16, and times that by x minus 4. And the way we do that is we're going to take each term in this trinomial and multiply it by each term in this binomial. So I'll try to do this with colors to make it easier to see. So I have to take x squared times both x and a negative 4. So x squared times x is x to the third, and x squared times negative 4 is negative 4x squared. Now the next thing I do is I go to the negative 8x, and I need to take negative 8x times each of these terms. So negative 8x times x is negative 8x squared, and negative 8x times negative 4 is positive 32 x. So what you're doing here is just a whole bunch of distributing and you just need to keep track of everything and make sure that you've multiplied each term by each term. Okay, so lastly we've got the 16. So we're going to do 16 times x. That's a positive 16x. And 16 times negative 4, which is negative 64. 
Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six terms, and what we want to do is combine like terms. So we've got our x to the third power. No more x to the third, so that's taken care of right there. Now we need to go to our x squared, so we're going to do negative 4x squared and a negative 8x squared, and that gives us negative 12x squared. Then we do our x terms, so we've got positive 32x and positive 16x, which gives us a positive 48x. And then lastly, we've got this constant term down here, negative 64, and there's no other constant term, so just bring that down, and there you have it. There's your answer. x to the third minus 12x squared plus 48x minus 64.